Hello, thank you for joining my channel. My name is Parissa. Today's video is all about three different flower types beginning with the letter X part of the A to Z flower series. I've also made other flower facts videos, so check those out too if you like this video. Follow my Instagram called Parissa Flowers where flower posts are regularly uploaded. Remember to subscribe to this channel and click the post notifications bell icon so you never miss an upload. Let's get started with this video. The first flower beginning with the letter X is the Xyris, and the meaning of this is razor due to the razor leaves. In Latin, the flower means wild iris because of the flower iris like appearance the color that these iris comes in is yellow and the blooming time for this iris is august and september some interesting facts about the iris is that it grows from a chestnut bulb it is a short-lived perennial over the world the genus has over 250 species the iris complanata is a herb that flavors swampy and moist habitats it is native to southeast australia and asia for medicine, the Zyrus can be used to treat eczema, dermatitis and is used in traditional Indian medicine. How to grow the Zyrus? You should ensure that you water to keep the soil consistently wet for optimal growth and ensure that the seeds are buoyant in water. The soil type you should provide the Zyrus with is moist, well-drained, fertile soil. You should plant the Zyrus in early summer. The sunlight you should provide the Zyrus with is semi-shaded, a semi-shaded area, full sun, or a no-shaded area like woodland. The food you should provide your Cyrus with, well, I couldn't actually find any information about this for some reason, so let me know in the comments down below if you can find any information on this. The flower beginning with the letter X is the zero phylum, and the meaning of this is dry and leaf, because zero means dry and phylum means leaf. Also, it can mean new beginning or rebirth, specifically the xerophyllum tenax, which means after the fire, clear the land. The colours that the xerophyllum comes in is just a green-coloured colour, and the blooming time of the xerophyllum is spring or summer. Some interesting facts about the xerophyllum is that the flower is a herbal perennial. The flower is a genus of two species, including xerophyllum tanax and xerophyllum asphodeliodes in the, and they belong to the Melanthiaceae family. These flowers have long stalks, spiky leaves, small white flowers, um, and they make lovely decoration to perennial containers and beds. Xerophyllum tanax is native to western North America, and many flower stalks are made from it, growing up to 1.5 metres. Xerophyllum has basal leaves at the bottom. The leaves of the Xerophyllum tanax are used to make dresses and baskets by Native Americans. Xerophyllum tanax, which is also known as bear grass, is the Glacier National Park unofficial symbol. This place is located in an area of the USA called Montana. For medicine, the Xerophyllum is used specifically its roots are used to make lather that can wash sore eyes. Uh, Xerophyllum can also treat sprains, broken limbs and bleeding wounds. Do you grow the Xerophyllum? So in terms of watering, it doesn't require much water, so water once a week. The soil type you should provide the Xerophyllum, when, with, xerophyllum with is sandy soil or loamy soil that is well drained. You should plant the Xerophyllum in well drained moist soil uh, and you could use uh, seed compost for food and um, the sunlight you, sh you should provide the xerophyllum with is full sun or partial sun. The third flower beginning with the letter X is the xeranthemum, and the meaning of this is everlasting love, immortality and cheerfulness. The colours that the xeranthemum comes in is purple, white and pink. The blooming time for the xeranthemum is autumn and summer. Some interesting facts about this flower is that it belongs to the family Asteraceae. The genus has six species of annuals, it's native to southwestern Asia and Mediterranean. These flowers are daisy-like and they have silvery foliage. The flowers are on long stalks and florets are made of compact heads. The flower comes from, from the Greek word zero. The flower is low maintenance. The flower is treated as an endangered species in some countries like the Czech Republic and the Slovakia. The flower is native to Western Asia and Eastern Europe. The flowers are often used for bouquets and they're said to look especially great in dry bouquets because they hold their color, shape and form and are used also for decorations. Uh, for medicine use, the xanthemum is used as an anti-cholinesterase, an anti-inflammatory, an antioxidant. It has anal jessic effects for flower and root stem. You grow the xanthemum, so ensure that the flowers are watered an average amount, so I'd recommend watering them once a week. The soil type that you should provide the exeranthemum with is fertile, moist, well-drained soil, and you should plant the flowers 
in uh, just before the late frost date has passed in spring um, so just after that you should sow the seeds and the seeds should be placed eight centimeters apart and five millimeters deep and light you should provide the exoranthemum with is full sun and the food you should provide flowers with is a potassium and nitrogen fertilizer which you should give before the flowering phase and that is the end of the video i hope you enjoyed it if you did then be sure to check out other videos from the a to z flower facts series and please comment like and subscribe